It's a gorgeous sunny day here in Los Angeles, California. Coming to you with another TK in the kitchen. Take it from Thomas. Today, it's a carb day. So there's one happy Thomas in the kitchen. I'm gonna break down for you a classic. It's actually not really that classic, but it's one of my favorites. Turkey and egg whites with quinoa, brown rice, and black beans. A little bit of corn in there, all right? It sounds complicated, but I promise you, this one is even dorm room friendly. So let's get into it and walk you through what you're gonna need. First off, you're going to need your knife and your cutting board. Good old Mr. Egg Whites. Dijon mustard that I struggled with last time. A pan, serve it in a bowl. Ground turkey, 99% lean guys. I haven't mentioned that, I don't think. Now optional is Green Dragon Hot Sauce from Trader Joe's. It is one of my favorites. It can add up though, so only use a little bit of it. We need a cup to measure our egg whites in our trusty food scale, or our carbohydrates. We are either going to use Simply Balanced Southwestern Mix, pretty badass. Spanish style rice from Seeds of Change, which uh, actually has quinoa, red bell peppers, and corn. Quinoa and brown rice with flaxseed. Any of these will do. I lived off of Uncle Ben's in college. Uh, not really, I lived off of Porterhouse Steaks. Yeah, I was full of little shit. I used to shop at Sam's and I'd buy like these huge cases of steak and eat it with Uncle Ben's because what goes better with a $60 steak than a dollar bag of rice? I still haven't made up my mind yet on which one of these we're gonna use today. Oh, how could I forget our main man, Mr. Spinach? We definitely need this guy. I found this bad boy at Trader Joe's the other day. We're gonna give it a shot. South African smoke seasoning blend. Sounds pretty good, smells pretty good. Haven't tasted it yet, but it's got paprika flakes, sea salt, garlic, and basil. So you really can't go wrong, especially not with Southwestern flavors. Hit this pan with a little bit of olive oil. Zero that bad boy out and put it on pounds. And let's weigh out five ounces of turkey. Now you guys should be pretty good at guessing this stuff by now. I'm gonna go ahead and say that that's gonna be pretty close to five ounces. A little more. Yeah, it's six. So we're gonna take one little piece of that out. Boom, on the money. So let's go ahead and flatten that out in this pan, guys. Gonna open our green dragon right now. So tasty. So we're gonna go ahead and hit this with three grams. Perfect. Delicious. The spice is nice. It doesn't really grind, it just kind of falls out. On to Dijon. Let's see if I can nail it this time though, guys. Already struggling with the plastic wrap. We're not off to a good start. Booyah. All right, ready? Oh, like butter. See, I promise, that was just a one-time fluke. I'm good, I'm good ladies. If you need help opening your jars around your kitchen, you know who to call. TK, get me in there, I can open your mustard for you. One gelatinous scoop of that, because that is not mixed up very much. There we go. We'll save the spoon, not get it on that raw meat right now. Bakuzi egg whites. Now we're gonna zero our scale out in grams. We're gonna go for 250 grams. 250, that's right. Boom, that's a wrap. We have a decision to make, ladies and gentlemen. Do we go with quinoa, brown rice, and red rice with some flaxseed? for a nice basic taste, although I think this would go better with chicken and broccoli, so we're gonna opt out of that. So it comes down to Southwestern style quinoa and brown rice. So this has brown rice, quinoa, corn, red peppers, and black beans. This has Spanish style rice with quinoa, red bell peppers, and corn. Hmm, hmm. I think we're gonna go with Simply Balanced today, guys. When you guys usually hear rice, quinoa, you think, Oh God, boiling water, lots of time. This is really simple. You wanna know how long this takes? 90 seconds now, and it's done. 
Those of you using quick math, what is 90 seconds? It's a minute and 30 seconds. Two horizontal and then on a diagonal across just with a little chopping motion. And it creates these little grooves in the meat. And then when it starts to cook, it's really easy to keep in small sections. So let's go ahead and put that on the stove. Almost set my arm hair on fire there. We're gonna pop open the spinach, chop some up, and then we're gonna toss it in the pan with our meat once that meat is cooked a little bit. Since we're gonna cook this down prior to throwing it in anything, how fine you chop this is totally up to you. I'm the kind of guy where I like to not know that I'm eating vegetables. I know, it's kind of ironic, but um, so I like my things very finely chopped so that it just kind of blends together and you don't get big chunks of anything. I find that to be especially true when you're talking about things like uh, carrots. I hate raw carrots. I hate big chunks of carrots. I hate steamed carrots. In fact, I really don't like carrots all that much whatsoever. But if you oven roast a carrot, cover it in some olive oil, some salt, put it with asparagus and sweet potatoes, it's a game changer. I love it. Tastes are like fingerprints. It's highly personal. Um, just like what kind of girls you like, I might not like. So deal with it. Just put some garlic salt all over it. That smells absolutely delicious. Let's throw our spinach in with a little bit of olive oil. So our quinoa and brown rice with black beans and corn has been done for a while. We're gonna let it steam inside of that microwave on its own for a minute. Um, when that comes out, we're gonna weigh it out in this bowl. This is super quick, super easy guys, and it's delicious. We're gonna pour our egg whites into our mixture over here. So let's go look at what that looks like first. This is our beautiful spinach, nice and sauteed with uh, our turkey. Looks amazing, I'm excited. So we're gonna pour our egg whites in there and get those cooking. We have 150 grams quinoa in here. We're gonna take our egg whites, just put them right in on top of this quinoa. Top it off with five grams of dragon. This is our quinoa scramble with turkey, egg whites, and spinach. I don't know if it looks as good as it tastes, but I promise you, it is probably the best tasting recipe that I've put up so far. Um, just in terms of combination of flavor. So it's really hot. So freaking good. It's like a breakfast burrito meets like a Southwestern scramble. It's so delicious. So many big flavors. If you like tacos, you like Southwestern food, this is gonna be a real smash for you. If you don't over season it, you season it the way I do, you get this nice blend of everything. You can still taste that spinach in there. And it's a nice subtle flavor underneath all that heat. Egg whites are perfect, they don't need any salt because that salt and spice comes from the paprika flakes we put inside of that turkey. And that green dragon just kind of blends everything together with a nice wave of heat and southwestern flavor on top of everything. Um, quinoa is a great texture. Brown rice, it has red pepper, corn and black beans in it. That comes through, you can taste it. Well. Turn down for what? I'll tell you, we're about to turn down because I'm gonna eat this and then head out to train some clients. This has been another episode of TK in the Kitchen. So until next time, stay sexy, keep cooking amazing meals, and enjoy the rest of your week.